Yep, yeah, and Golda going for Spiders. Cloaky while Spider on Ravaged, which, as mentioned before, is Zelnanka Caverns. That's what it is. If you've played StarCraft 2, you know this map. It... I don't actually know how much different it plays since I haven't played StarCraft 2 all that much, honestly. <laughs> but I don't think it's comparable in any way. No, the game plays very different. Anyway, however, there's, like, the four Metal Extractors in the main base with three on the, well, six in the center, six along the south and the north, and then this expansion over here, the expansion over the east and west, that's typically taken quite quickly. The players will often go for that, especially if they go for an air start or air switch, you'll see cranes being pulled over here to the sides. Otherwise, the section to the north, the near section of the north and south are taken first, and then usually the lower section, but the lower section is very risky to take. Difficult to make that work, and... Golda pausing the game? What? Oh, there's some mess of oh, that yeah, going drone, on. Drone is having 40 second ping. Yeah, Drone does this. He was really worrying about this before, that um, he wouldn't be able to play. It's a bit of a shame, actually. Mm-hmm. It's a bit of a shame that Randy didn't go through, given that uh, I was hoping that, uh, you know, Drone would be able to play, but if he's, if he's having these troubles, then, you know... He might not be able to finish out the series. I really hope he does. He was saying that he was worrying about this, so... Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, well, Golden wants a rematch, if that is going to happen. I think Gutter Drone... wants a fair game, because... Look, <laughs> look where Gutter is in his base. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't think that, um... Yeah, Drone two is and... kind of going to lose from here if his, his ping is bad. I, I think. Okay, well, this is. We're back, I guess. And Google Frog and Clone are now finished. So we're we'll waiting for Flaccid and Yurgo, which I think Flaccid. I don't know if they're still, they're still going. Alright, so we might have a rematch. Not sure. Yeah, Drone. I think we are... Okay, so we are going to be getting out of this. I just want to leave before anything changes, because I don't want to mess up my win counter again. So it's easy to fix at this point. Anyway, the point is, Google Frog now in the semifinals against Clone 2-1, so that was actually Game 3. Flaccid and Yurga, I don't know how that's going. I have to say, if Yoga's on form, uh, Yoga and Klon were, they were the sort of the mean machine, when mean machine were, was a new thing, mm -hmm. they were just a powerhouse, they'd won so many games in Planet Wars, so they're really strong players, incredibly strong players, okay. but um, I don't know whether he's on form these days. Well, last time I saw Yoga do really well was in one of the first 2v2 tournaments, since then they've been doing okay, but I don't see them play 1v1 all that often, so I'm honestly not sure how they're going to play, what to expect. He's def it, it, definitely strong players, both of them, yeah, Yoga and Klon. So um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing them um, in the, how, they, how they do in this tournament. But we see, had the game starting again. Okay, so drone right now, 400 milliseconds ping, a bit more reasonable. So once again, spiders he, and cloak. He has spikes is the problem, yeah. Yeah, that was an odd one, though. 40 seconds, sheesh. I mean, we're having issues with the sponge, too. The sponge was just having loads of problems with CPU usage and lag. Not sure what's going on there. Yeah, I'm also oh, having a Yurga just problem. won 2 1. Yurga. Yurga, 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 Yurga and Google Frog is the other semi finals match, which we'll do after this one. This is this match up here is a traditionally very difficult one for the factory drones picked. The, yeah, because glaives are really good against fleas. You don't need riot units or anything like that at all. Um, you can defend quite easily. Uh, drones are really going to have to take advantage of the cliffs here, which is the reason why you go spiders on this map. Uh -huh. uh, and he's coming around the back here. It, 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 he's probably not going to get anything. The glaives are going to intercept. God is good enough on, the, on his micro, and yeah, the fleas are taken out in short order. Yeah, the only tough part I find for the the Kulkibot factory is redbacks. Since the addition of redbacks, the matchup became much more even. Yeah, with this map with the closed off ramp and the uh, ability to sort of really sort of transition out of the Raider game fairly early, it's the Raider game which is really um, uh, in God's favor. But after that, when you can transition into Venom Redback and, you know, who knows, maybe Recluse, often it's a rush to crab, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, it becomes, it becomes a lot more e interesting, a lot more even. But the Raider game, 
uh, Drone's going to want to transition out of, out of it as fast as possible. He's already making a Venom. Well, that's not surprising. The one thing I've noticed actually recently is that Rockos are only really useful against Venoms. Against Redbacks and Hermits, I find they don't work as well as they used to. They are not the counter to the factory anymore. So well, well see, Venom was your own, it used to be... It used to be your only riot unit. That's and true. <laughs> you so. had to use it against Glaive because Flea was countered so much and you used a lot of Glaive, which means you had to use Venom, which means that if they were countered by Rocco, Rocco's. Rocco would win. Rocco wins the battle. Rocco's still a really strong unit. We we massively nerfed uh, Rocco's, honestly, with the, the, the hit point change because um, they're just just a bit too dominant. We're still seeing how that how that works out, but a lot of people are saying Flokabot's really strong and Rocco's one of the reasons, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Well, hmm. I think that's a nice hiding by that spider. Yeah, that was I was yeah. pointing that out just while you guys were talking that the glaives did not speed this. Drones saw this on radar, saw the glaives coming in, and <laughs> it's, <firing laughs> now, it's trying to hit it. Trying, can't get going in the right position. Desperate to kill One this thing is not though. Enough to take on three glaives. Here it comes. Oh, and setting up a lotus as well. That you can is just clever. go down the cliff. You can just go down the cliff and hide. It's, this is really good attention to detail of what you can do on this map. That try and is get them awesome. In oh man, so many things to love about this map. This is one of my favorite maps, by the way. I'm sure I've mentioned it before. He's going to try and get all three at once. That's not going to happen. I don't think Goda's going to let that happen. Goda's, no, Goda's flanking. Oh, he got away though again. Yeah, that Venom is not going on without a fight. Although I'm a bit surprised Drone did not build a Lotus while the Venom was distracting the Glaives. It's just, I think, a lot of micro going on. Ah, oh, the Venoms, the Venoms, ah, oh, no, ah, oh, got away again. Yeah, that is clever. Although the one, oh, nice, caught two of them. Gorda not moving in to try to deal with this. Losing those glaives. The one thing, though, Gorda has been expanding naked, of course. Gorda is a total streaker. Because he can't be raided easily, yeah. He's, it, the drone's making fleas now, because he's sort of afraid of this. But the glaive coverage is so good right now that he's probably not going to get through. This is why I say you no. have to transition out of the raider phase really, really early. Take territory, sort of really expand aggressively. Not use too many defenses, use lots of mobile units instead. And just try and keep the economy even so that by the middle of the game, you can powerhouse forward with your mid-game units and not lose, already have lost the game in the raider phase. First redback's up now, I'm walking there through the There we go. I was about to say, where are the redbacks? Like, when's redback? Because that's something that should have been up a little while ago, but... At least given that it's coming to take care of the, of the glaives on the left side. On the weaver, got all ready to do wood. Two more clusters of free while the drone is still working on a second. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Golda was just not really focusing on that western side, and drone was almost entirely focused on the western side. So when distracted, Golda just went for the rest of the expansion attempts. Um. It's naked, or nearly naked. If it weren't for the fact that the glaives beat fleas, it would be naked. It's why I say the, fact, the matchup is favoured during the Raider phase. I mean, this is the really critical, important phase when the economy is set up. And Drone's just not able to contain these glaives well enough. He's not able to take territory well enough. His early expanding constructor got distracted for a long time. He spent a lot of time microing that as well. So, yeah, we'll see whether he can sort of make a big push from here and get through. But the Rockos have started being pumped out by Drone, by Goda. So yeah, the although this now. red back here over the northwest side, that should be able to deal with quite a bit of damage. There are Rockos coming in, but... I don't think they're going to get the position on it. I think the Redback's going to take this entire group of three. And that should even out the economy nicely. And the military is already fairly even. That's one down. That's two down. Let's get the third one. Come on, drone. There we go. Three down. And the Redback can go in out for free. The Rocco is going a long path, and that will not be able to catch up. The cliffs give a real advantage on the map to spiders, which is what, the reason why you pick them here. Oh yeah. But I mean, the Rocco got as good enough with his micro, and you probably just mostly do it with fight order. That the Roccos can probably just keep cutting, cutting this red back and keep it trapped to the back there. But maybe you can do something clever with the cliffs here. Drone maybe you can hide around the edge and just keep taking that out. Oh yeah, drone's hitting the plus twenty aircraft. hump. Drone has hit the plus twenty hump. They're trying to build up a caretaker, but it's still going to take a little while. But yeah, the red back took out this metal extractors. The, that's the important thing. Is now the economy is even. Like, Drone has evened it's, things out. Goddess Commander, though, is a threat. This... Goddess Commander is taking the extra territory, oh, and yeah, that will make the is. economy not even again. That is very true. But uh, Drone's trying to secure it's the middle, and these nice little hills along the middle, the ones he's building defenders on, mm -hmm. they're really good for just hiding a big spider army up on, and just sweeping down whenever you can get the advantage. Or he's, dropping he's a crab. The, on the other side, the mirror side, he's put a red back in a... Um, uh, or dropping well, later on, yeah, dropping a crab. He's got a red back and a venom up on those hills. They're slowly climbing them, but mm -hmm. there are rockers there to harass, which is 
basically the correct response. Ooh, they even going for the base, I think. Yeah. Wow. Is going for that base. is wow. nice, nice, necessary. nice. And gunship switch out from Gorda. Interesting. Yeah, they has been working on that quite a while now. Well, we've seen a lot of rapier really play. good against gunships. Oh, I agree. I don't know why it's being used here, but we've seen a lot of gunships in this tournament. Like drones been using them extensively. It, it's, the, it's the rapiers that done it. But when the, the when you made your composition in your factory is a riot composition, you're really strong against gunships. But yeah, no rapiers are just they're really strong units now. The well, they have enough really alpha. strong. And that's the yeah, thing that's the alpha strong, the slow is strong, the range is strong. I think if. If Drone had about twice as many units there, that would have probably done the trick. Well, the first Over, Grape crab. is almost done. Yep. Followed by Tarantulae. So these Rapiers actually might be a bit... Is there too much defense going on here? I think there might be five Tarantulae, maybe a bit too much. Yeah, there's a Redback coming around the side where Goddard's commander is. He's going to try and take out these metal extractors. And he's actually raiding, using these cliffs. He's wow. raiding using riots, which is a really clever sort of adaptation to well, the matchup. Well, you have to. It works. It works with warriors, morphed. it works with levelers, it works with uh, venoms, it works with uh, the, the tank uh, riot. Yeah, the raiders, it's making, the reason riots it's working here units. is because of it. Yeah, yeah, well, they're a little bit. But it's, it's making the. It's make, working here mostly because of the cliffs. It's because he can hide yes, along them. That's true. But here come the uh, rapiers. He's just building up more and more, getting stronger and stronger. He needs to get those tarantulas out, and, you know, even then, he's going to lose a lot of territory. He's not going to lose his commander because it's retreated nicely, which is good. Oh, yeah. He's got it. The <laughs> but this is shifting back into Gorda's favor. I don't see yeah, a whole lot Gota of has reclaim some, either. Uh, he's never been out ah, of favor. Ah, another ping spike. 15 seconds now. Gutter is using his um is using uh, actually retreat zones or with his rapiers to retreat them before they get damaged. You can see there's two rapiers right here which mm. have a tiny slither of health, which would have died there. So he's 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 trying to keep them alive. That's what you want to do with rapiers, with gunships in general. Build up a big war ball, lose as few as possible because they're a lot. Like, they're a lot like a, a scalpel, really. Mm. A rapier. It's a scalpel with slow in the air. So uh, and they ball even better than scalpel balls, obviously. Well, that is a key thing, and yeah, chicken is on. Chicken 30. <laughs> chicken 30, yeah. And it looks like Gunship Plant was being built up for Drone, but they haven't really gone for it. Well, Tarantula is up. We're waiting for... Okay, Drone has rejoined, but... I think for Drone, the choice was really... Um, he could keep making the Gunship, but when he saw those Rapiers, he needed a reaction. He couldn't invest in Gunship himself. Mm -mm. Especially when Gunship doesn't... I mean, it doesn't... What's his response? Uh, rapiers, you know, the rapiers are anti-A, so that he's going to his response is basically going to be the same unit, and the enemy already has more, so he's going to lose. So he needs to make ground in there. He needs to make crabbers, crabs to uh, retake the middle of the territory, and you can see the crab is now going for the the uh, for Goddard's commander, which is it's a good move. I mean, that will swing the favor if he managed to get the commander. The yeah, commander, to be fair, though, the commander will probably just retreat. That first shot's off. Had to stop right as the pause one, but that was the very first shot from the crab, just floating in the mm -hmm. air. It's interesting because I think I think Goddard knows that the mid game, the raider game went on his favor, so he he just naked expanded, and he knows that the mid game, especially with a nerfed Garocco, is going to go in Drone's favor, especially with the with an early crab. So he kind of expects this and goes like, I need a I need a different mid game. I need a factory switch. And thus, so he goes into rapiers. Yeah, which is really strong on this map again because they're all terrain. They can go up and down cliffs, mm -hmm. and because of the new rapier, which is actually a lot stronger stronger of a unit, and. The reason you can really go rapier is because it's actually good against air. So yeah. if the enemy does a fact switch into planes, you used to kind of be a little bit stuffed, and maybe you could do something with rapiers, but the planes have so much mobility they can hit where the rapiers aren't. Now rapiers challenge ground so much that you need to respond to the rapiers, otherwise you will take serious damage, and if you try and do it with planes, you get shot at. Yeah. So... Not sure what drone is planning on doing right now. They've, I think, rejoined. They, yeah, he's saying he'll try again, and then if he's not, then forfeit. So I mean, Randy might have to take his spot. Which is, I mean, uh, I'm not disappointed by like you know, got a got her and Andy matchup. I mean, that'd be very interesting to see. But, on the semifinals, uh, but I guess it's, it's a shame Randy's when played. when drone. Yeah, it's a shame that when when drone actually won that legitimately, that maybe due to ping issues, he's not gonna be able to finish out the matches. Especially since this game was actually going pretty evenly.
All things considered. Yeah, I, I think I think I think Goddard knows. He got, you can tell Goddard knows the matchup. He knows what he needs to do. He knows he needs to go big during the Raider phase because that's when the advantage. And then he knows yeah. he can't afford to just spam Rocco's. He started doing it, then he's like, no, no, I need to switch. And that is something which I think. Ah, this has been very interesting. If drone didn't have ping issues or doesn't have ping issues, drone still seems to have ping issues, but it might be intermittent, or at least it might just be because it's paused. I'm not sure. Yeah, in these high-level games, it's really hard if you have even, you know, a slight problem with ping to, mm-hmm. you know, unique lightning fast reactions. I mean, this is one of the problems with living in Australia <laughs> for players like me and Google Frog. Well, honestly, lightning fast being half second, like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it does matter. It does happen sometimes that, that yeah. Okay, it does. I mean, that is execute. still, yeah. that is still by the like frame of the game. That's a 15 a frame delay, so that is still pretty big, but that... I mean, I'm thinking, compared to, say, fighting games where having any frame delay is bad, so you want to go with rollback netcode to avoid frame delay entirely, it's Yeah, it, it only comes when, um... Half uh, second is it only comes, huge. Yeah, it, it only comes into play, really, when that when it comes down to the micro, when, that, that, it, like, split-second crucial decisions matter. Yeah. And that's what it's like in, in, in really high-level play like this. Oh, moderately high-level, as high-level as 0k gets. So far. So far, well, I mean, the tournaments yeah, have been pro, pushing. Pro Starcraft player, can, yeah, the, this is a really high level tournament, and who knows? If it weren't for the ping issues, okay. Warzone yeah. Active. Oh. Warzone okay, that's. Okay, that's worth. Oh, yeah, it's forfeit, but yeah, drone. Apparently, that won't work. That is indeed very unfortunate. Oh, zero K decides to kick him out of kick them out of games. What? Okay, that is yeah, bizarre. It's possible. It's possible. Um, did they unpause and then he got his units haven't blown up yet, so he can still even with the victory screen there, he can still rejoin and they can keep playing as it happens. Oh, you can just move the victory screen out of the way, but I don't know whether he wants to. I have no idea. I mean, at this point, I've already got Golden marked as winning. Hey, this is... Okay, it looks like... It looks like we're going to have potentially a rematch. Oh, that's really Attempt sad, number three. It's really interesting. I know. I think I, if drones if drones like going to take full advantage of this, um, I don't think you go spiders. No, or I don't We might so try either. a different setup with spiders. But uh, but uh, he might be his sense of honor will be offended to using the other factory. So who knows? It's a real shame. This is a very interesting matchup. Drone is the sense of honor. Strength of the factories. I I think uh, ego will say. <laughs> oh okay. Like, I'm just not used to the idea of competitive player having a sense of honor. You you win. <laughs> the whole point. You're trying to win. Oh oh well. Drone doesn't really. <laughs> Probably no. No, I mean, you know, it's, we're not. Un- God could just unpause on him and declare victory, so. You okay, know, no, I a, mean, okay, it's there's. Fit, it's sportsmanship. Okay, there's sportsmanship, but having, playing the same factory is something which is something that could be. That's something you have to think about in terms of particular community standards. Like, with some games, you'd have to use the same character or faction or factory or whatever, and other games, you wouldn't. So, that's a community standard. I'm, I'm not sure how. Yeah, I don't think- we rule it. I think in in any in any estimation, the game has gone on long enough that um, uh, you know, you it's not really probably right to to call a rematch unless um unless God is comfortable with that. But you know, God has well, that's what himself said. quite a sense of honor. So if they agree, then they can rematch. And God doesn't yeah, well, propose I think it. if they agree, then God I think if they agree, it, and, so that's the thing. I don't know what's going on. I think maybe the new Zero K lobby might be messing things up. I don't know. All right. Anyway, well, maybe sort that out. But in the meantime, I guess we can go to the other one. This is going to be a pain in the ass to edit. When chopping this out, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. Well, I mean, the game is still interesting up to that point, and um, but I mean, you could include it as a as a alternate reality in which. Uh... 
Yeah. It's not really a tournament match, it's is it? It's just more... It's an interesting alternate reality game. No, the problem is more because it's not going to be contiguous. Like, unless we don't do a rematch yeah. on Golden Drone, it's not going to be contiguous, or we're going to have to make it contiguous, and that's going to be weird. In fact,